Hey, what up, everybody? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas, and today's Final Cut Friday... It's Final Cut Fridays! I'm gonna show you how to jump cut like a pro. Let's get it! Alright, so here's an example of myself doing a jump cut. Now I'm gonna, this is the raw video. Anyone who does YouTube videos or any type of video speaking in front of the camera, we all mess up. That's undeniable, even if you have a teleprompter. So there's a lot of hiccups, pauses, um, what am I talking about? Mess ups, um, there's a lot of stuff involved. And jump cutting is one of the ways that has really gotten Jump cutting is pretty much a way that a lot of YouTubers, jump cutting is really a way that a lot of YouTubers, jump cutting a lot of people adapted to and it's a fluent way to actually record things. It's become the norm. And as you guys can see the raw footage, I did a lot of mess up. So I'm gonna show you the magic of jump cutting right now. All right, so here's an example of myself you're doing a jump cut. Anyone who does YouTube videos or any type of video speaking in front of the camera, we all mess up. That's undeniable, even if you have a teleprompter. So there's a lot of hiccups, pauses, mess ups. Jump cutting a lot of people adapted to and it's a fluent way to actually record things. It's become the norm. So let's go into the editing board where all the magic happens and let's ignite your editing right now. This is great for like sales videos and call of actions, any type of talking head videos, this is what you wanna do. It actually kinda looks like you filmed it with two cameras, even if you only filmed it with one. So let's get into this jump cut. Excuse the background noise, that's my son. He's playing with a shoebox, playing with the tissue paper in there. Now I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna zoom in here, with the blade tool, cut that. Now I'm gonna, this is the raw video. Anyone who does YouTube video. I'm gonna cut that, cause I don't really need that. Anyone who does YouTube videos or any type of video speaking in front of the camera, we all mess up. That's undeniable, even if you have a teleprompter. I'm gonna cut that right there. You hear that open space, that, that breath, we don't need that. So you wanna make sure these blade cuts are pinpoint on. So there's a lot of hiccups. So there's a lot of hiccups, pauses, pauses. I'm looking up, I'm gonna just jump cut there. Um, Ooh, cursing. Now, this is, like I said, you know, people are gonna mess up, you might mess up, your client might mess up. It's your job to make it look good. What am I talking about? Mess ups. So, there's a lot of hiccups, pauses, mess ups. Um, mess ups. Jump cutting is pretty much a way that a lot of YouTubers, jump cutting. See that mess up? Jump. Jump cut. Yeah, I got it back, picked up. Boom. Jump cutting a lot of people adapted to and it's a fluent way to actually record things. It's become the norm. Yeah, so this is 20 seconds worth of stuff that got chopped down and we could work with this. All right, so here's an example of myself doing a jump cut. So we go from a regular camera angle right here. Jump cut, anyone who. Now you see how jittery that is? Watch. You're doing a jump cut. Anyone who see that little jitter, we're gonna play that off right now. First block is cool. Like that's gonna be regular. Then the second one coming over here, this is where the fun begins. We come over here and we're come gonna come down to the transform. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it up. And I'm gonna scale it up to at least like 120, 121. And as you can see, my head's chopped. So in order to fix this, we're gonna come to the Y axis, which is up and down, click it. And then I use my Apple mouse, um, the magic mouse to move down or up. Now you guys can enter the value as well, but I'm moving down, scrolling down, and that looks good to me right there. You guys can adjust the X accordingly, but I framed everything pretty good, so I'm good money. Look. Cut. Anyone who does YouTube videos or any type of video speaking in front of the camera, we all mess up. That's undeniable. Even if you have a teleprompter. Boom. Keep on moving. There's a lot of hiccups, pauses. All right. So as you can see, that's a little gap right here. Man. And this, the waves are pretty much tell you what's going on too. Like if you see nothing but dead airspace, then you could probably chop it out. And pay attention to any lips and movement as well. Now I'm good to chop this out right here. Now what I do is I copy and paste everything. So the second scene is the one we actually adjusted the rotation. I'm I'm sorry, 
we adjusted the scale in the Y axis. So I come up here to copy. I could do also um, Command C and so this mess up this one right here. So we're gonna add that same thing here. We're gonna come down to paste attributes. And we're only gonna focus on the transform right here. Boom. This mess ups, jump cut in a lot. Look at that, perfect. Causes mess ups. I see I, I looked away a little bit, so we're gonna clean that up. Jump. Nothing but dead air space. You guys are seeing the uh, the pattern that's going on jump here, right? Jump cut in a lot of people adapted to, and it's a fluent way to actually record things. It's become the norm. All right, so here's an example of myself and doing a jump cut. Anyone who does YouTube videos or any type of video speaking in front of the camera, we all mess up. That's undeniable, even if you have a teleprompter. So there's a lot of hiccups, pauses, mess ups. Jump cutting a lot of people adapted to and it's a fluent way to actually record things. It's become the norm. And that's it pretty much. I'm gonna also give you a bonus example of some footage I chopped for one of my clients named Joel Irway. And this was for one of his YouTube videos because he's building his channel to um, generate more traffic to his business. And it was Jump Cut City. That's all it was. I'm gonna play that footage right now for you guys. Experts seem to be popping up all over the place. We have experts, expert critiques that are on the news that talk about politics, that talk about what's going on in the social world. We have experts who are popping up on YouTube talking about whatever it is that they wanna talk about. They're experts at video games. They're experts at sports. They're experts at almost anything. Is it right or wrong to call yourself an expert? And morally, can we teach other people what we believe we are experts in? This is how you jump cut like a pro. I've done these type of videos numerous, numerous times. Very easy to do and it gives a cool effect, like I said, and keeps your audience engaged. If this video helped you guys out and you're starting to jump cut like a pro, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, as well as more Final Cut Friday tutorials, vlogs, unboxings, reviews, inspiration videos, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.